Hi, in this tutorial video, we are going to cover what the mechanical electrical interface block does. And we're going to use it in a, in a simulation to give you an example of how you could use it in your mechanical and motor simulations with PSIM. To start with, we're just going to run this simple circuit here. I've got a, a three phase sign, this little source driving an induction motor. We're measuring the speed in RPM and we're measuring the torque in newton meters. And we also have a constant torque load here of five newton meters. So let's run this and see what these waveforms look like. So we can see the start up here. We're leveling off around 200 RPM. And the uh, constant torque load is constant at five newton meters. And then now let's put the mechanical electrical interface block into circuit. So I'll enable this circuit and I'll stick it on the end here. I'll define this constant torque load as zero. Now the constant torque load and the elements that I'm using for the mechanical loads and sensors are, are here. So in the power uh, mechanical load sensors and then the interface block is here and the various other mechanical loads are, are here and some other things like a gearbox and some encoders. So those are, are in load, are, are in circuit now. What the mechanical electrical interface block will do is it will convert the uh, speed uh, torque relationship uh, into a voltage current relationship. So one radian per second revolution of the shaft will be one volt on the electrical side and one newton meter of torque will be equal to one amp on the electrical side. So our constant torque load could actually be modeled instead with a constant DC source of five amps. So let's run the simulation and have a look again at the waveforms. Again, here we see that it looks the same. We've got speed now of 200 RPM with the same characteristic and a constant torque uh, being measured of five newton meters. But let's pull up what the uh, electrical sensors are showing us. So I'll plot on a new screen the, the electrical speed, and we can see that it's in radians per second and that it's got the similar characteristic of the, of the mechanical uh, sensor speed. And let's also pull up and plot on the torques, the electrical torque. So we can see that, yes, it is bang on five amps or five newton meters, depending on which side of the block you configure things. And then let's also plot on top of, of the speed plot here, uh, the conversion from radians per second into RPM. So we need to multiply by 60, and then we also need to divide by two pi. 2 times 3.14159, and let's plot that, and we should see them lay on top of each other, and they do. Um, so that's a quick intro into the mechanical electrical block. You can use this now to model some really complex features that maybe are loads that are not included in our basic mechanical library. Check again for uh, another tutorial video. I'm going to cover the mechanical electrical interface in, in a lot more detail and, and do some more compl complex loads in future. Thanks again for watching, and as I mentioned before, check back again for more videos.